Hey, are you trying to create the best sales and checkout experience possible so you can increase your conversions and sell more of your product or service? Then jump in real quick and learn how to do that right now. Hey everybody, this is Brian Hatch, CEO and founder of Automate Big. And welcome to another episode of Marketing Runs Deep, where we dive into the details of what matters in your marketing so that you can make revenue grow. And so one of the things that happens for every business that's selling a product or service online is that you need to have a sales and checkout page. So that's what we're gonna talk about today is your sales and your checkout page experience. No matter who you are, no matter what you're selling, if you need someone to be able to buy online, you need to know what needs to happen on that page so you get it right. So many people build a sales page and wonder why it's not converting or they're getting very, very small conversions and they're like, well, I don't know, I don't know what I gotta do, what I gotta change. And so a couple things, we're gonna go through some of the steps, we're actually gonna jump into, I'm gonna go screen share and show you some great sales pages that you can look at. Um, but I wanna give you a little detail here first. First and foremost on your sales, sales page, you have to be benefit driven. In today's just in today's market, people don't want to be sold. They don't, they don't want to feel slimy that you're like pushing something that they don't want. That's not the case. And, and those of us that are working to sell things that matter to people, we don't want someone to buy it that doesn't need it. That's like that, that doesn't serve us or them. And so we want to make sure they're going through a buying experience. So when I say sell, buy is the same thing. But what you need on that sales page, first and foremost, all over your page, you need it to, to be benefit driven. And I think you look at Marketing 101, there's a difference between benefits and features. A lot of people want to say, here's what you get. You get these modules, you get these trainings, you get this thing, you get this stuff. And that's okay, it's, it's, it's important to tell people what they're going to get. But first and foremost, and what needs to be permeated throughout your entire sales page experience, is the benefit to the customer. So the benefits are something that changes their life, something that improves their life, something that makes things easier, something that, that takes away some of the pain they have, some of the pressure they have. Whatever it is your product solves, that's what you want to make sure is extremely apparent. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can do this in more of a, there's a towards and a way. And what I mean by that is aspirational versus pain. A pain point driven sales page is going to say, get away from the pains, get away from the things you don't like, get away from the problems that you're having, get away from the stuff that's ruining your life, right? And then our product or service solves those. So it makes, you know, relieves you of pain. Now, 80% of people buy in that manner, and that's why more sales pages are directed in that, in, that, in that kind of style. Some people feel like it's too salesy or get too pushy, but when it comes down to it, a lot of people are running away from problems. They're not going towards something they want, and as sad as that is, that's true. In all the marketing that I've ever researched and done, more people are trying to get away from problems than they are trying to, to, to accomplish something big. For example, it's a silly, silly example, but it's important to think of. Most people don't buy a TV because it's the brand new best, it's the curved model, it's the 20K version, it's all this, you know. A lot of people buy it because their old TV broke. And maybe the cost of repairs is, is more than getting a new TV. Now, there's a hybrid in between that, but there's two spectrums. There are people that are going towards something shiny, like I want that cool thing, I want to get that, that I want to be the first one to get it, I want to be the, I'll stand in line to get the first one. And that's the 20% of the market space. The other 80% of the people that are like, my TV's fine. It might, might not be the best, it might not be the 4K version, it might not be the best in the world, but it still works for me and I'm not really stressed about it. But when it breaks, then they're like, ah, I don't wanna, I don't, I, they're getting away from a problem. And then, sure, at that point, they might go buy the brand new coolest model, but they're still moving away from something that's painful that they don't like, right? So that's what's happening. So on your sales page, you want to focus on benefits that drive one of those two points. Uh, typically, it's not you're not going to like be aspirational and also pain point driven. You need to pick one or the other. And pain points don't need to meet. Doesn't mean that you're making fun of or being critical of your audience. That's not the case. If you're talking about pain points, you may have gone through them. Like I recognize what it takes to build a digital marketing business and an agency and, and, and the stresses that are involved in that. Like I, that's, that's like a part of my life. And so to share those pain points with people that I'm trying to help like yourself with this sales and checkout page experience, I can do that very easily because I know the frustrations that you might be going through that I've had, right? So the benefits need to be on there. And then as you go through the tactics, which we're going to go in and dive into in just a second here, there are other things on sales pages that matter. And one of them is design. As silly as it is, you can have a terrible sales page that gets people to buy, but if you have one that looks good, that looks like you're professional, 
that's going to help. As silly as that is, and as, as, as much people want to fight me on that, a sales page that has all the right things but looks like crap will not convert as, better, as good as one that looks really good that doesn't have all the things. And all the things meaning all the tactics you need to run into. So there's benefits you need to have on there. There's a guarantee you need to have on there. There's all kinds of fun tactics you need to put on your sales page. But at the end of the day, you need to make sure that people are seeing what you offer, seeing the value in it because of the benefits that they get or the pain points they're getting, they're moving away from. And that is how your sales page is going to convert. So you want to make sure that you have each of those bullet points taken care of on your sales page. And now let's jump into, I'm actually going to go onto the computer and show you exactly some, some great examples of sales pages. And that way you can kind of use those as a template. Now, I will say one quick caveat. Just because someone else is doing it on their sales page doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Because if somebody has a million followers and you have 10,000 followers, there's a difference in how many people are going to come to that page, right? And so your conversions might need to be better than theirs. And so if you don't, if you miss some of the tactics, then you need to make sure you're there, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right in, show you some examples so that you can make your sales page and your checkout process a whole lot better. Hey, getting right in here onto sales pages that I want you to look at and see as good examples, even though they might not be what you sell or how you would sell it. Just some things to learn as far as the tactics. This is one um, that features a lot of different things on here. Uh, engaging headline and a button right there to, to buy. So those that are excited about purchasing can go right away and do it. They don't have to read the rest of the page. They have a countdown timer that gives you an idea of what you have to do before a deadline. This is another tactic that's used well, and I say you need to use it with integrity. If it's not a real deadline, you need to make it real for some reason, not a fake one, just because you're trying to get people to take action. Then um, gives you a visual look at what they do, which is good. And then it goes into what you get, right? What you get, and then these here are more of your ben benefit statements. Right, so you get this brain training, and then these are the the reasons that your life will change and become better. So these are again benefit statements that are really good, and then go from there. There's some social proof you see right here, social proof that gets in and talks about why this person would recommend it. Then again, more of what you get via uh, this is a little bit more about what you get here, more social proof, right? And again, you can keep this is a pattern on this page. And then here's some more social proof, maybe authority figures that show faces of people that are prominent in their industry. And then again, more social proof right here. And then you get into some bonuses. Bonuses are another tactic that works really well because people like to get more than what, what just what's necessary. It's a way to differentiate yourself. And so bonus, right? Another bonus. And, and again, you can see getting out of debt, earn more, managing better. This isn't what, only what you get, but this is a benefit to you if you can earn more, if you can get out of debt, right? And so there's a little bit of a narrative here. That's another thing that you'll see on other pages that we'll go to. And then again, we kind of go through a pattern on this page. Another more authority figures uh, talking about, again, the benefit statements. See how heavy the benefit statements come out here on this page as far as what you're going to do to help change your life. These guys do a value stack that shows you the value shows you what you're going to save and shows you what you're going to pay. Uh, that can be valuable in certain industries. Um, it's still good to be able to have a price juxtaposition to show the difference between what they are, what they get in value versus what you are uh, having them pay. Sometimes a value stack, you know, depending on the price of your offer may or may not be really, really applicable, but very helpful. Then from here you can pay in full or you can get a payment plan. That's another tactic. Payment plans are pay in full. And then from there, more social proof, more opportunities to pay, and then you hit the end of the page. So that's just one example. I know I'm going quickly, but I want to make sure I'm getting through each of these pages to show you different ways of doing this. Whether you do or don't like these companies, these are great ways to get people to take action. And when you're doing it with integrity, you're going to win. The next one here is Knowledge Broker Blueprint here. Uh, this is Dean Gracios, you guy that I've worked with in the past and, and done some really cool stuff with. And again, Headline Video. This is another one that, that a lot of people use as a video explaining what's going on. And I feel like that's a very personal. If your brand is very personal, then a video can do you a lot of good. Then from here, he goes straight into billing. Now, I will say that this is uh, the off, This is a after the, the cart has closed offer. 
So they're expecting people to come to this page after already knowing a little about their, their program. So I have to give him a little credit here. This, this isn't quite what he would do normally if he was in the middle of a live launch or uh, a different than, than what it is. So it goes right into a billing. Um, you can pay, put your information here, does a value stack as well, shows you bonuses. And, and note, um, this is a little bit of here, here's what you get, but they try to lace in some of the benefit statements there as well. Complete your order. Now this is where you're going down and telling you what you're gonna get, right? The software you're gonna get to help you. And then from here, it's more of your, this is what you're gonna get, extracting your expertise. Um, and it's teaching you really what you're gonna get here, not as many benefit statements. Uh, at that in that section, again, I've seen other pages that he's done that that I feel like go really heavy into the benefit statements. Uh, he's taught me a lot in this in this regard, and so um, then he goes into a little more what you get, you know, a little what you're gonna see. Really deep deep, deep dive into what you're gonna see when you get in. So this is the foreshadowing of what you're going to accomplish, what you're gonna be able to accomplish, see. So if if someone can see what they're gonna get not just by way of words, but actually visually, it helps them idealize what they're gonna do when they get it, right? And here's your social proof that's really critical, videos of students of his. And then this is some actual so social proof that he uses in, in uh, getting posts from people on social media, which is really cool. He elicits that, and I think it's really smart. And then that way you can see what people are doing with you, what you've done. And then from here, there's this is more of what uh, some benefit statements uh, and really answering questions. These are rebuttals. People that say, well, how is this other different than others? This is your rebuttal for any person that says, well, I'm not going to get this or that's dumb. And then there's a guarantee here, which is great. And then it gets to the end of this page. Now, this is, again, a closed cart sales page, but I wanted to give you an idea of what that would look like. Another one I, wanted, well, I want you to show is Brennan that I've worked with as well. And, and Brennan Richard, again, great, great headline video. This video audio auto plays, but there's no speaker on, which I think is a really good feature. It doesn't overwhelm people that like, well, what, what's this video playing that I don't even know? Uh, you get the, the option to unmute it, which is cool. Um, some people don't like that. I think it's a, just a good customer experience. Then from there, he goes into authority figure, shows you why you should be listening to him. Click here to explore explore the levels. This is some social proof from people that are knowledgeable in the space that talk about why Brennan is awesome at this thing, right? And then he goes into more of some benefit statements, tells you what you're gonna get in, in a way, and then goes in here into a very big narrative. He talks about what you're gonna get. He does definitely go into the what's unlocked and then here are your bonuses very quickly. Um, but you'll see here more social proof from authority figures more social proof from authority figures, more social proof from authority figures. Uh, Brennan is uh, an authority among authorities, and so I, I think it's a phenomenal way. And now is where he gets, gets into a narrative. I think this is one of the things that a lot of sales pages lack. If you are a personal brand, then you need to be able to, to talk about why this is, matters to you, and it needs to feel like it's coming from the heart, and Brendan does a phenomenal job at that. This is a longer sales page. Some people don't like the length of some sales pages, but depending on what you're selling and how much you're selling it for, it's applicable and, and very helpful to your audience to give them everything you possibly can to teach them. Now, you go through this narrative and you understand this is why he did it and this is what you're going to get from it. So this is, a, again, ben he's, he's lacing his story with benefits about you, right? You don't know how to get the ideas. He's, he's talking about the, some of the pain points, the problems you have. Uh, definitely discussing that. Brennan is definitely an aspirational. He goes after the people that want to accomplish something more as opposed to get away from pain. Although he doesn't lack the opportunity to say things that uh, you're trying to get away from without being heavily pain point driven. Then more social proof, right? And then again, more narrative. This is your rebuttal. This is how, can anybody do this? This is some of your frequently asked questions. Um, and he gets into that piece. Again, more of what you're gonna get and how, you know, how that's gonna make a difference for you. More narrative, more narrative. Then he gets into the price points, which is awesome. And it gives you three price points. You can you can pay per year, per month, or get a pro. And then again, more social proof, and then more questions and a disclaimer. So longer sales page here, but very well worth it considering what he offers, which is great. Another one I want to show you in a completely different industry. 
that will give you an idea. Chris Heidi Powell that I've worked with in the past as well. This is their app. This is losing weight uh, application on your phone. And so this is a program that, that comes and uh, teaches you a little more about like, hey, use this from us. It's proven. We have experienced this as the authority figure. And then this is instant social proof. Before and afters are phenomenal in obviously the health and fitness industry. And then from there, it goes into more social proof and what you're going to get. This is the community that you're going to get into as well. And this is more of what you're going to get. This is typical of a lot of programs that go into what you're going to get. People want to know that, but you definitely need to be focusing on the benefits of why that matters to you. So I think there's always opportunities in every page to look at. But then there's here, your fitness success all in one place, right? Gives you a little more example of what you're going to get, how it's going to work for you. This is a lot of what you're going to get uh, in these in these sessions here. Social proof, more social proof. And then here is a, a little bit of like the frustrations you might have. Find your way, find your what, helping you with more than just the physical. And then it goes into the price points. And then it has a lot of freely asked questions, which get into the rebuttals, the questions that people have, or why would I do this? Or why would I, would I, would I not want to do this? And they go to the end of the page. So there are some examples of some sales pages that I recommend you take a, take a look at and, and use. Note one thing that's very important here. If you copy a sales page verbatim, you're going to lose a lot of yourself and your customers are, and your audience are not going to understand you. Therefore, you need to make sure your sales pages look and feel like you. But these are some great ones to look at. Great tactics to put on your page. And note, you just want to focus on the most critical pieces of talking about their pain points. Talk about the benefits of what they get. Talk about what they're going to get, obviously, and then make it easy for them to check out. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that session of Market Runs Deep to be able to understand a little more about what you should do on your sales and checkout pages to get the best conversions you possibly can. If you want to learn how you can actually interact with me and learn how to build your pages the right way in a more interactive experience where I can actually share feedback on your pages, click the link in this page where you can go and learn about my Build It workshop series where we actually can get in it together and help you right now. I know that we can do this for you. I know we can get, help you get better conversions on your sales and checkout pages. And this is just one small way to automate big.